Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have guides. Okay. Let me get something with this. Number seven also. Okay. This guides. It looks like water also. Number seven, Yemaya. Let me get something here with guides. We have the Ace of Sword. Okay. We got facts. Okay. We got clarity here. We got communication. What is this here with this? We have the five of cups. Some some type of bad news is what I want to say. What is this here with the chariot? Somebody's being asked to move forward. Maybe somebody has some type of assistance moving forward. Like they just found out about something and now they have to. There's nothing they can do about going somewhere or okay yeah we got the ace of wands there's some type of action that needs to be taken it's like somebody getting some type of bad information and having to make a move having to do something like it's urgent what is this here we have the two of cups energy and that's where i feel like guides come in guides like something is activated like someone I almost want to say someone has a spirit somebody has a new spirit or something like what is this being activated it's a relationship being activated here it's like i see this okay is this a five of cups here okay i see three cups knocked over but i see two cups standing behind this person this is a two of cups here it feels like something like a relationship coming together with a spirit or a bond with a spirit. Like maybe somebody has passed on. Okay. Let me get something here with this. This two of cups. We have the four of cups energy. And then you see how this cup over here is floating. You see how I said the three of cups, they knocked over in the five of cups. Those are knocked over. And then you got the two of cups coming out here, which is where I feel. And this has wings. You see the little healing sign right there? I forget what it's called, but it's right there. You see the wings up there. And then you see this coming out of nowhere. I do feel like this is some type of spiritual connection. I mean, a spirit connection. And it could be someone that has passed on. And could be communicating with you. We have a queen of wands here. That's the first court card to come out. A fire sign here. Wow. What is this here with the ace of sword? We have the five of wands energy here. Wow. This was a serious... This is a serious communication here. This is some serious information. Like someone learned something that put them either in a situation or it, it's, I don't know. It like took somebody out. We have the page of pinnacles energy here. Planting some type of seed here. Starting something having to start something, having to put something in, having to put some money into something, like getting some type of information. Somebody might call you and be like, oh, we, you know, maybe somebody passed away and we need to put our money together. I don't know. I don't know. You got to read between the lines, but it's, it's something like that. Let me get something here with this chariot. But it's like someone, it feels like not having a choice but to make a move or something like that. We got the 10 of cups here with the chariot. Okay. Now, I really do feel like this is about family. 
It's also something about giving something to your spirit. Something's going to happen and you're going to know you need to give something to your spirit. You could already be a spiritual person. OK, and if you're already a spiritual person, then, yeah, it may something may happen where it it alerts you to give something. I don't know what what spirits you work with or what deities, what whatever it is. It's some I'm seeing page of Pentacles and then the ten of, ten of cups here. And this is with the chariot It's something that's going to help you move forward. People may not think that it's something serious like that. But when you give to I'm just going to say spirit. I'm just going to say spirit. And that's going to include everything that's spiritual. OK, when you give something to spirit and it's something physical, page of Pentacles, when you plant some type of seeds and it is because somebody's going through something, five of wands underneath the ace of sword It's something you're going through. And if you're going through this, it's something here you might need to speak with spirit about or whoever. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like they're there, guides. I feel like they're there. They're there for you. And you're going to see. You're going to know whoever you are, because it may not be for everybody, but for you, whoever you are, it's meant for you to know now. It's meant for you to believe now. It's something. And if you it's just for if you don't for the ones that do, you already know you need to give something to spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we use the word sacrifice, but it ain't got to be nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Let me get something here with this Ace of Wands or we could say offering. We could say offering. OK, offering or sacrifice, whichever one you're comfortable with, whichever one you feel like you need, because I don't know everybody's practices. We have the Ten of Cups energy here. Ten of Cups with the Ace of Wands. OK, that's a positive outcome for what you did, what you did here with this Page of Pentacles, planting some type of seed. It's a positive outcome. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. It's a wish fulfillment. It's a, I'm telling you, it's as if you're going to see your spirit guides or you're going to see them working or you're going to see how they work. And it's it's really I really feel like this is about that kind of clarity. I feel like it's something that's happening in the material world. But for some reason, I don't think that is what you're learning. You're learning something about the spiritual. Because of something that happened in the material like it's time for somebody to look beyond the material. Like, yeah, we're going to grieve and things like that. We have judgment and it's here with the two of cups. We're going to grieve. We're going to feel we're going to cry. We're going to scream sometimes. But we have to look through it beyond it. OK, we have to look behind it. If you understand what I'm saying at some point and understand or try to understand something deeper. So judgment here with the two of cups is something here you're meant to reunite with. Or someone, I don't know if this is a physical person or this is like a spiritual thing. Maybe you're reuniting with a belief system or maybe you stop believing in something. Maybe you're going to work with a spirit that you ain't worked with in a long time. Or maybe you're going to believe in the spiritual like never before or something like that. It's something where it's going to be a shocking, some type of shocking information here. Some type of shocking information. Where it's, it's pretty much, I feel like, going to open you up to the spiritual. And whoever this is, if it does happen like that, it's something that it would be very helpful if you were to give something. Even if it's just a candle, okay? Even if it's just something like a glass of water, something, okay? Because it's you're assisting them to assist you. It's like equal give and take. We have the nine of wands energy here. Wow. And this with the four of cups energy. It could have been something that has been resisted. Like somebody may have had a hard time believing in something or whatever this is, it's going to put somebody in a whole different energy. Like it's going to challenge somebody's energy or challenge somebody's belief, challenge somebody's strength. So it's not something small here. We have the eight of cups energy here. Eight of cups energy. What is this walking away from? Maybe it is a relationship you're walking away from, but you're gaining something here. You're gaining so much more. I think this is a spiritual relationship. I don't know with who it could just be God. OK, it could be yourself. It's some type of relationship coming together because of an ending, because of some type of sadness, some type of 
grief, not coming together because of the grief, but something you're going to experience that's going to give you grief. There's also healing that's going to be available, but it's something that you have to see and you have to acknowledge. Like it really has to start with you and then it goes beyond. And but I think it took for someone to have to lose something or someone to realize that. But they're going to always be there with you if you love them and they love you. OK, if it's not that thing, then this is a new energy that's coming into your life after you lost someone. But you got to determine what that is. Damn, we got the Ten of Wands. I knew it was something very extreme here. It's a lot of responsibility here is what I'm seeing a lot for somebody to take on a lot on their shoulders. A lot happening to them out of nowhere. And it's like, what am I supposed to do? I know it's not everybody not going to want to hear it, but your spirit guides can. I don't know what you want to call it. Spirit guide, spirit, God can make miracles happen especially when you believe especially when you believe like your emotions have to be really strong really open but as they are when you're going through something right we have the page of swords energy here oh my goodness it's an energy of like if someone is in that energy of like, oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? This is the reading right here. There's something here you're supposed to believe in beyond yourself. Something bigger than yourself. Something that can bring a miracle into your life. And it's not about bringing nobody back. It's not about bringing nobody back. But it is about finding meaning, understanding, love. What is this here with this Ten of Cups? We have the Wheel of Fortune energy here. I'm telling you, and it's with the Ten of Cups. That's what I feel like is like the collective or the spiritual collective Wheel of Fortune here. It's like I feel like when you give, when you plant that seed into the spiritual, everything is going to change. And that's what somebody is meant to learn. Someone's seeing all their problems. They're looking at it. Page of Sword is looking right at the Ten of Wands. They see all of their problems. They see everything that's on them. They see everything. But it's like maybe it is somebody that has not understood they have to give. I know that's not everybody's belief, but it's like a universal thing. Like energy is shared. You know, energy moves. It can be transferred, you know, and if you give energy to whatever this is that you believe in, OK, whatever it is that you feel like can help you through whatever this ten of wands is and this five of wands, whatever this thing you just learned or you just found out about it or this information is new to you. It's something you must believe in beyond yourself. Because I feel like if not, it'll keep somebody really in the five of cups. It'll keep somebody there. And I don't think that's nobody's purpose. We have the two of cups again. There's a partnership here that's going to come together. It's a wish fulfillment. It's something that's, look, I don't know in what form because I'm seeing a lot of cups, y'all. To be honest, I'm seeing a lot of cups. Okay, a lot of them. So it is really something that's mostly in the spiritual. The only thing that I'm seeing that's a pentacle, let me just look really good. The only pentacle I see is the page of pentacles. That's literally letting me know that somebody needs to plant a seed. They need to give something. They need to start something, okay? They need to give. And then it, it, it immediately goes to the 10 of cups. You need to give something to the Ten of Cups, the, the spiritual, okay? The love, the divine love, the divine, the collective, the spirit, God, the soul, okay? it's I don't know how to say it. You got to read between the lines because, like I said, I don't know everybody's belief. But I do know that certain laws is universal. And I really feel like it's something here that you need to give something. We have the high priestess. Like it means something like, OK, for example, 
you know when people um tie a, a ribbon around a tree depending on what color right it means something there's meaning behind that or the things you do every day there's meaning behind that there's an action here with this page of pentacles is something that you need to do or you need to give is something physical. There's an action. It's a lot of meaning behind it. I don't know what it is. It's different for everybody, but you have to do it because it means something. Like when you graduate and you walk across that stage and you receive that empty thing with your diploma, it's not in there, but you know it's supposed to look like it's in there. You know what I'm saying? But you receive that, it means something. It means something. Even if you don't walk across the stage, if you get that shit, it means something. It's something here you got to do, and it means something. I don't know what that is for everybody. We got the high priestess energy here, and it's with the the judgment card. And it's still, it's even here with this other two of cups. So the two of cups is in the same line, and it's touching the high priestess here. It's some type of connection. It's some type of hidden knowledge maybe somebody's going to get into. Something maybe they're going to keep to themselves, but there is a relationship here that is going to develop and it should develop and you shouldn't be. I don't know if somebody's scared of this development or somebody just didn't open themselves to this development. If something is going to change a person's mind, they're going to realize you got guides with you. You got your guides with you. You're going to see it. What is this here with the high priestess? This nine of wands energy. We have the King of Cups energy here. Water sign energy again, right? High Priestess is water. Two of Cups, water. I told you this whole, a lot of this is water. It's like something is pushing you towards your spiritual nature. Something is pushing you towards a spiritual connection. Like you're supposed to have, whoever this is, you're supposed to have a spiritual connection. I don't know with what, okay? But it's something here you're supposed to have a spiritual connection. You're supposed to believe in that. Because it is real, but everybody doesn't believe. So you can't force everybody to believe, but it doesn't make that shit false. I'm going to tell you that right now. Just because somebody don't believe some shit, it don't mean nothing. It doesn't make it true. You can say all out your mouth that the sun ain't hot, but it don't make it not hot. Okay? I'm just saying. And then we got the page of cups. Y'all, if any more cups come out here, like for real. We got the King of Cups. We got the Page of Cups out here. Now, like what? <sighs> I feel like it's a spirit. I honestly feel like it's a spirit that's going to walk with you, that's going to grow with you, that's going to be with you. Because I see this Two of Cups right here. I see the Two of Cups right there. The High Priestess is here. Even that is about balance. That's even about a relationship between what is seen and what's unseen. And then you have the King of Cups actually facing the Page of Cups here. And you see the little fish coming out the cup? I know that's probably hard to see. Little fish coming out the Page of Cups cup. It's like I really feel like it's something that's going to walk with you, going to be with you. And it's just for life. It's just how it is. I don't understand. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Some people going to understand, especially people that have walked this journey for a long time. They have spirits with them that they've had with them since they were young or since whenever they figured it out, since whenever something tragic happened, since whenever. And those spirits are still with them. They could be 60, 70, 80 years old. There's certain people that believe what I'm saying. I don't know where they at, but there are certain people that know. It's a relationship you're going to build. Look, three of cups, more cups. The whole reading is cups. It's only a few other cards out here. Everything else is cups. This is a relationship. These are relationships. These are spiritual relationships. The first card out here was guides. You see how it's three lines there? Look at these three cups. And it's still water. And this look like water. I'm just saying <laughs> somebody here is developing relationships with their spirits, regardless if you know who they are, what their names are. I don't know what kind of spirits. It could be very close spirits. It could be spirits that you resonate with or deities you resonate with or messengers or angels or saints or whatever you do. I don't know. But it's something here where you got to believe because it's real and they're going to help you through your life for the rest of your life. And they're waiting for you to connect whichever way you want to connect to spirit because everybody got their own traditions, religions, beliefs. But it's something here where people, everybody needs to connect no matter how you do it. Everybody needs to connect because there's more to life. Let me get something here. Let me get one card here. Real quick, real quick, real quick. 
and it says flamingos. Do you see that too? And you see that Pisces? I'm telling you right now, this is crazy. I truly feel like there's a partnership here and it's undeniable. It's undeniable. It's something, God, spirit, it's something here. And look what it says at the bottom. You know I'm about to throw these cards, right? It says it's time. If this joint would uh, freaking, look, no, I'm not turning this damn shit off until y'all see the words. Okay, where is it at? There it is. It says it's time. It's time for action. Things are fast tracked to unfold quickly and smoothly. And look at somebody wearing white and sitting in the chair. You get what I'm saying? Come on now. I feel like this is a this is spiritual. What is this angel message here? Oh my goodness, it says no. So I got to get a card for no. It says compassion. Compassion, feelings, belief. Okay, understanding. Let me get a card with no. Let me see a card with no. I want to get something with this no. And it says nine of cups. Emotional fulfillment complete contentment here so what is the no like feeling so okay then if that's the case i gotta pull another card i gotta pull another card so maybe somebody thought whatever they thought that nine of cups was or whatever they thought they had a wish fulfillment that's not it maybe what is this here let me get one more with nine of cups and we got the moon or somebody could be blocking it themselves. With the moon card, they're saying don't fear the nine of cups. Don't block it, but don't fear it. Don't fear what you don't understand. Don't fear the illusion. Don't fear what's behind the, the veil, the veil, the veil. Don't fear what's behind there. And it's the chariot because they're gonna help you move forward. Nine of cups in the moon, don't fear it. I was wondering why it said no. But yeah, don't fear it. Don't be scared of that energy. That's it. But it's very important what I'm saying. Don't fear spirit. Don't fear what walks with you. Don't fear the things that's trying to help you. Don't fear what's going to be with you for the rest of your life. I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.